ideal creatures sequel would consist of a bunch of different features, and I'll just go over a few because I could talk about it for a while, I think. But I think one of the main ideas is having very customizable locations. In Creatures 1 and Creatures 2, we had this really interesting world called Albia, which we could move around in and explore, uh, but we were kind of limited to it. And there wasn't a lot of add-ons that we could do, we were kind of just stuck on Albia. Which wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but it also didn't have a lot of customization features in terms of where our Norns and other creatures were actually located. However, once we got into Creatures 3 and Docking Station, there were all types of different areas that we could explore. Meta rooms and, in the beginning, just terrariums that we could kind of go between and find out about. And it was kind of interesting because we really started to see that customization open up and, you know, there's more third-party development based on creating these different meta rooms and letting players kind of create their own stories of how they're going to play the game and just how everything is going to work. So I think it's really important for a sequel to really offer up from the start, some type of customizable locations, whether it be a meta room idea, or even if there was something like a random map generator, where the game could really just decide for you, and you would just jump in and not really know what to expect. I think another important element in a creature sequel would be having some type of working ecological system. We saw this pop up in Creatures 2, and then Creatures 3 and Docking Station also expanded on it with all different types of plants and critters and bugs. Uh, but I really think that they made it a little too complicated and complex. Probably the most important feature in terms of a new creatures game would be having some type of breed editor that would be in the game or at least be something that anybody could use. So I would think that a pretty neat breed editor would have kind of sliders in there where you could choose the size of different body parts, choose what they look like, uh, maybe have some type of reskinning where you can actually choose to add spots or change the colors. I think another really important element of a creature sequel would be to have the code and the editors really accessible to all types of developers. Third party development right now for all of the creatures games, especially Creatures 3 and Docking Station, I, it definitely happens. We've got a lot of new downloads coming out, but jumping into understanding chaos and how to code everything is sometimes a little difficult. So I think it would be neat if, within the game, there was actually a way to understand the code and really get into it. The mystery and the history behind creatures is also something that I think is really important to keep within the Creatures franchise. What I mean by that is when we started off in Creatures 1, we would open up the hatchery because we knew that there were a couple of eggs that were left over from the she. And we had to hatch these and take care of them. And there was just something to do and who were these she and why did they leave? Of course, we do figure that out in some instances, but it's just really interesting to have that backstory. In all of the Creatures games, they really did continue it on, and I think it would just be neat to keep all that mystery going, and not just put a sequel out there just to have it, but to have something that really has a built-up story in the background in a world that does have some mysteries and isn't just kind of thrown out there. Creatures has to be simple and complex at the same time. And what I mean by that is that on the surface, especially with Creatures 1, you could just hatch a Norn, watch it, kind of have it as a pet, and not really get that involved with anything complex, like genetics or biochemistry. However, all those features are there in the background to explore. Even now, I discover new things about creatures, and it's just so interesting to have that science there. A lot of the elements that I mentioned for a new creatures game are actually present already, especially with such a robust community that's constantly coming out with new downloads. I would have to say that creatures is constantly evolving, whether it's creatures 1, creatures 2, or creatures 3 and docking station, there's constantly new ideas being thrown out there, new downloads, new projects going into development. And I think we're really keeping this game alive, this game series, I should say, alive with all of the new and exciting things that come out all the time.